Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about possibly one of the worst arsonist weapons in all of TC2 history, or perhaps the funniest. However, before I begin, I am proud to say that my subscriber count has been rising quite a bit thanks to you guys, and I would love to see it rise every day. So let's try and get to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. Alright, let's get into this weapon. Now, for all of those players that have played TC2 between 2019 and 2021, you will know this weapon. It is called the Prototype SM2. Now, the Prototype SM2 has three important stats. Let's start with the upsides. The Prototype SM2 had a plus 75% air blast cost, meaning that air blast only costed 5 ammo, which was insane to think about. The other two important stats is a 25% damage penalty, and probably the worst stat of this weapon. No afterburn. Now, to all those W and M1 flog pyros that are running around in this game, you might think no afterburn isn't that big of a deal. But when you also think about the fact that a minus 25% damage penalty is also on this weapon, you can see just how bad the weapon was. Hell, even the devs at Rolf stated that Prototype SM2 wasn't even meant to be added. That's just how bad it was. Now, even though everything I just said pretty much shows just how bad the weapon is, it doesn't mean that it wasn't as funny as hell to use. Seeing a brainless arsonist running around with a flamethrower that looks like it was made out of the dumpster outside an auto, re auto repair shop and sun locking anyone in sight before inevitably dying is a sight to see. Why use fire when have air? Why use fire when can shoot air? Yeah. <laughs> Where's he going? He's going in the sky. Come down. Oh, what? Where'd he go? If you have noticed, whenever I describe the prototype SM2, I usually just use past tense words because, well, it's not in the game anymore. Well, you can get it in randomizer, but that's not like the main game. Welcome to the graveyard of originality, where any original item goes eventually. The only reason someone would want to use this weapon is so you can get easy reflex by just holding down right click. In fact, it used to be air able to air blast twice as fast than normal, but it was changed later on because it wasn't exactly fair to counter. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe and also feel free to comment what video you want to see next and what weapon you want me to go over. Alright, thank you and goodbye.